so now let's implement the business logic or you can say the view model for our sign up UI already we have the user interface for the sign up which you see here the UI which is implemented in the sign up screen and you know that that sign up screen is our view now inside the view model for the auth view model in here we will implement the business logic for it that is writing logic for sign up new seller so in order to sign up a new seller for that purpose first we have to do the form validation so we will say validate form which is validate sign up form now this method will receive some parameter for example the image file which the user will pick from phone gallery so you can say let's say image x file make sure to import x file here which belongs to image picker dot dot okay just add this here then we need to receive here the password and confirm password so we can say password confirm password then the name then of course email then phone and location location or you can say location address so what we can do we can simply say if image x file if this become equals to null which simply means if there is no image file make sure to add here the question mark which means nullable that is it can be null let's say if the user has not picked from the phone gallery we will display a message to the user that is to the seller as you know we have three type of users one is seller one is rider and one is the end user so the, to the seller as this is the seller app so this, to the seller we will display the message to please select an image from gallery and that we will display using snack bar so on our common view model we will write the reusable method that is the reusable logic we will give it name as uh, show snack bar so final snack bar snack bar content will be we will display that using text widget and that will be any message which we will receive here as a parameter so we can say message to display in the text bar okay other thing we will receive here is the context of the screen so we can say message scaffold messenger dot of context dot show snack bar a snack bar is our snack bar so whenever we need to display something on the user interface any message we will use we will call this method which is no snack bar so for example now on our auth view model as we already use one of this method on our sign up screen also okay we have create an instance we will also make that instance reusable by simply moving it from here control x okay and go to the global global variables right click on global new create dot file we will give it name as global underscore ins which means instances and we can add that here just import common view model so now what we need to do we will simply say here that is import the global instances dot dot simple as that and now to call this we will just directly say common view model dot show snack bar and pass the message as this is for image so we will say please select image file context will be 
the context from where we are calling this validate sign of form method and that is of course our sign up screen so we have to receive here the context as a parameter of that screen from where we will call this method okay otherwise if the image is not equals to null that is the image selected successfully we have the image file then check and do the form validation for the text form fields which include the name and password and confirm password since we have password and confirm password first we will check that if password become equals to confirm password then it means do the other form validation otherwise if if confirm password is not equals to the password that is if both are not equals to each other then else statement will execute and we have to tell to the user so you see the advantage of using the MVVM architecture we can make the code reusable just we call over this method and just change the message we will just say password do not match and then we will start doing the other form validation which is checking the name so we can say if name is not empty and if uh, email is not empty if password is not empty and if confirm password is not empty and phone is not empty and finally location address is not empty if these are not empty then sign up the new sell seller otherwise if any of them is empty we will display a message and that will be please fill all fields so now we can call this method from our button that is from our view when the user click on the sign up button so to call this method what we will do we will go to our view we is sign up view and there is a button sign up so on the view when the user click sign up button we will call that logic let's create a global instance of our auth view model auth view model one thing you have to keep in mind please that this is just for educational purpose okay that's why we make it global otherwise you can keep it private so that the entire app will be more secure that is you can create an instance of your view model whenever you need it for example here you can just initiate it and with the help of this you can call its method or its attributes or anything so anyways now we can simply say that auth view model dot validate sign of form so the image file we have to pass to it let me break this code so we can see it easily this image x file is our image file this one so we can say we can pass it which is image file password is basically we can get from password controller confirm password we can get from password confirm password text rating controller similarly name we can get from name text rating controller dot text dot trim similarly for email then for password for phone and then we have finally the location address which is uh, the full address okay 
full address which you already know which is on our common view okay that is when we get the complete address we assign it to this global variable and by the way which is returned by this method and then comes the context of our sign up screen so now let's test our application so the app is running now let's go to sign up click on sign up button so you see please select an image which is the first condition so the seller has to pick an image so let's say I pick this image now when I click sign up it says please fill all fields so you have to fill the complete form 